Hello children. Today we will learn the 10th chapter in science. The name of the chapter is safety and first aid. First aid is nothing but the primary treatment given for the person when he gets injured. Primary treatment means the treatment given in the initial state before we take that individual to the hospital. So that is actually called as first aid. At the end of this chapter, we will be able to explain that there are different places where you need to be safe. Describe safety habits that you have to follow. Carry out basic first aid. Let us answer this. Have you ever fallen and hurt yourself? Definitely. So usually, sometimes accidentally, unknowingly, we may fall, we may get hurt. Have you ever cut yourself with a blade or knife? At least you might have seen in uh, uh, movies or in TV, uh, certain individuals uh, like accidentally they cut with a blade or knife. Have you seen anyone bump against a car or a scooter on the road? Even you might have seen the pictures in the newspaper, even in the news channels. Okay, certain individuals, uh, they are actually hit by the car or a scooter. Do you know in all those cases, okay, they are actually given first aid. And these unexpected event that occurs in an or in an individual, so we call that a, that as an accident. Okay, let us learn in detail. Accidents. An unexpected event that might lead to you being hurt is called an accident. Usually unexpected means which we don't expect. Okay, unexpected event so which may lead to some injuries so that is actually called as an accident so whenever they ask you what is an accident you can define in this way unexpected event that might lead to you being hurt so they can happen if you are careless usually these accidents will occur when we are careless when you get hurt it is painful Whenever we get hurt or injury, it is very painful. It takes time to get better. It takes time for that injury to heal. So it takes time to get better. Accidents can happen anywhere and at any time. Accidents can take place anywhere and at any time. You have to be careful to avoid accidents. So we need to be cautious or careful to avoid accidents. You have to follow safety rules. Especially to avoid this accident, always we need to follow certain safety rules. Safety at home. Do not leave your books and toys lying on the floor. Someone might trip over them and fall. So never keep your books as well as toys on the floor. Sometimes what will happen if a relative has actually come to your house or your family member. So when they walk in a hurry, they may step on those books or toys and they may fall. Knives, blades and scissors are sharp. They can cut you. Always use them in the presence of an adult. Okay, never use knives, blades and scissors in the absence of your parents. Always use them in the presence of your parents. That is because these are very sharp. If we are careless, it may cut our fingers. Playing with matchsticks is dangerous. Use them only in the presence of an adult. Then matchstick may lead to fire. So we need to use them again in the presence of the adult, that is parents. Always put out a matchstick before throwing it away. So always we need to switch off the matchstick. So before throwing it away. So what may happen, sometimes the matchstick, uh, like if there is fire in it, so it may lead to a fire accident at the house also. So we need to switch off that matchstick before we dispose them. Do not use sharp objects on your own. So here you can see a small child is trying to cut the carrot vegetables. So never try this in the absence of your parent. So if we are careless, it may cut our fingers. So we should be cautious. Always be careful with fireworks. Fireworks means crackers. We should be very careful with the crackers. They can explode and cause burns. Certain crackers may explode unexpectedly. So be like as soon we give fire to the cracker, quickly it may explode. We may not have enough time to move away from the cracker. So there is possibility it will cause burns. Ask an adult to help you light fireworks. So whenever you are actually uh, bursting crackers, 
you always request your parent to be near you electrical things are useful as they make our work easier usually electrical things will are will help us to make our work easier but if they are not used carefully they can give electric shock but these electrical things if it is not used carefully they may give electric shock an electric shock can kill a person never play with plug points open wires are electrical things you might have seen plug points at your house even uh, like wires where the insulation tape has been removed or uh, certain electrical things never use it in the absence of your parent remember electrical shock can kill a person so especially if the uh, like wire is not having an insulation if some object is placed in, inside the plug point they all will give electric shock and uh, flow of like uh, more current it may kill a person so you should be cautious never try to touch or use any electrical appliances in the absence of your parent you can see in this picture light fireworks only in the presence of an adult so your parent should be there whenever you burst the crackers then do not play with the plug points these are the plug points never play with them so removing this cord wire placing it back all such things always avoid never try to taste anything you do not know about so any food item it can be fruit vegetable or any any food item if you don't know about that food item never try to taste sometimes there is possibility certain food item may be poisonous do not fly kites or play on the terrace you can fall off if you are not careful so usually uh, like um, kids they try to fly kites on the terrace and even they try to play on the terrace but you should be very cautious when you play on the terrace there is possibility sometimes we may not be very cautious we may be concentrating only on our game or flying kites at the time accidentally we may fall off from the terrace it may lead to some serious injuries so always avoid playing okay on the terrace safety at school running up and down a staircase is dangerous do not push anyone on the stairs always form a line before you come down the staircase so usually in the school or even it can be in big building there will be staircase so you need to climb the staircase cautiously so especially when there is crowd or rush do not push anyone on the stairs if you try to push anyone when you are getting down from the staircase there is possibility the person may fall and he may get a serious injury so always make a line and move cautiously when you move up as well as when you get down the staircase classrooms are not for running and playing the corners of desks are sharp and can hurt you badly climbing on the desks and playing inside the classroom can cause accidents remember a classroom is not for running and playing for running and playing you should use the playground the corners of desks are sharp so accidentally if it touches our body it may hurt us climbing on the desks like how these kids are doing and playing inside the classroom may lead to accidents so you may slip and fall from the desk it may cause injury when you try to jump from the desk okay so it may also cause injury so do not climb on desks do not run in the corridors corridors are for walking so especially in the corridors never try to run sometimes uh, we may slip and fall it may lead to injuries the meaning of the word explode is burst with a loud noise usually we explode the crackers